Today's financial advice is sponsored by Endeavor Private Wealth. Well, Chris McGee, managing partner at Endeavor Private Wealth, has joined us for our latest segment on investing. Chris, good morning. Good morning. All right, Chris. So last week you discussed uh, conserva con conservatism. There we go, <laughs> and the attributes of um, conservative investing. And so this week, let's continue to explore the uh, meaning of a couple other ideologies: uh, economic liberalism and progressive investing. Dana, I'd be delighted to do so. So economic liberalism supports a free market economy based upon private property rights and individual freedom to conduct business with minimal interference or competition from the government. It adheres to the belief that basic human nature favors uh, self-interest that people and businesses will do what's necessary to be productive and creative and that in turn will raise incomes, generate goods and services that consumers want, and grow the economy. Mm-hmm, okay, sounds a lot like capitalism to me. You're right. <laughs> capitalism is also based upon the principle that self-interest drives businesses and consumers to meet each other's needs. Individuals are free to pursue their dreams, whether that may be getting an education, pursuing a career or vocation, or deciding how to spend and invest their money. Companies must adopt accordingly to otherwise risk losing consumers and enterprise value. And what happens if the pursuit of economic self-interest goes too far and results in unfair trade and business practices, you know, curtails employment and collective bargaining or results in um, monopolistic um, pricing? That's where government comes in to establish, regulate, enforce order, fairness, and the opportunity for the community and the economy as a whole. The degree to which the government inserts itself it has evolved over time and is open to substantial debate and differences of opinion. Mm -hmm. Chris, investors may have a, a conservative orientation. They can be a, a, you know, pro-free enterprise. Is there also such a thing as progressive investing? Uh, yes, progressive investing is a catch-all phrase associated with ethical, environmental, socially responsible, sustainable, and impact investing, whereas economic liberalism focuses on pursuing one's economic self-interest, progressive investors take an altruistic approach, at least partially, meaning they try to invest in companies that do good for society while also hoping to realize a good investment returns as well. Progressive investing aligns investors with investors' money with their beliefs they may invest in companies that promote eco-friendly or socially responsible practices, or they may avoid businesses or industries that they believe to be harmful to society. Mm -hmm. Chris, you know, we've considered um, conservative, liberal, and capitalistic and progressive investing. What about independent investing now? The word independent means free from outside control. And I believe that investors will be better served when they seek independent, objective, unbiased advice from a trusted financial professional who places their goals, objectives, and best interests above all else. All right. Well, Chris, yeah, thank you so much for your insights. As always, we appreciate your time. Of course, everybody, to learn more about Endeavor Private Wealth, visit EndeavorPW.com.